How's it going everybody? My name is Philip and today we're going to be reacting to part two of what are the dumbest things that Americans have ever said to you. Uh, I've only really had that one experience that I mentioned in the last video so uh, I'm kind of interested to see what uh, other dumb things that Americans have said and and one thing that I've kind of thought about after that last video it's not we're not necessarily dumb dumb it's just ignorance of of the world I think I think that's more of what it is we don't fully understand the rest of the world a lot of the times like for those especially those that haven't fully traveled and even even some that's traveled a little bit but not a lot uh, there's still a lot of uh, cultural differences that makes it seem like we're absolutely stupid <clears throat> when when we ask certain things i think that's pretty much what it is but uh we're not completely we're not really stupid or dumb it's just we don't fully understand or we don't fully know certain things that goes on in the world or we don't fully know this or that you know so i think that's more so what it is so when we actually hear it it's like yeah no that was dumb <laughs> but i'm sure it's gonna my mind might be changed just a little bit with some of these uh, dumb things. Because I, I have noticed, like I said, the last video, there was like five maybe or so that um, that were not, that were f what we would consider foreigners that, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that came out. It seemed like there was a lot of, whether it was American or, or at least Canadian. I guess they still technically count as foreigners. I mean, they're our neighbors, so I don't, whatever. Anyways, moving on. Let's check it out. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I am Italian and I go to college in the US. I was on a phone call with my advisor to schedule my classes for spring semester, okay? So at some point he goes like, wait, you're Italian. I love Paris. I've been there a few years ago. And I, and I told him, yeah, I love Paris too. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I've been there a few years ago too. And he goes like... I also took some French classes in high school too and I was like yeah French yeah I know French because I studied it at school and he was like wait you studied it at school and I was like yeah I studied it because in Italy we don't speak French and Paris isn't in Italy <laughs> so yeah that's it in Italy we speak Italian in the capital of Italy is Rome and he was like oh my god how could I forget yeah, I think that's another thing. A lot of the times we we get excited about something and then we just don't realize until it, it, it's brought to our attention. Like, I think there years years back, probably when I was in high school, I not gonna lie, I probably would have gotten that mixed up as well. And then I finally I don't know what happened, but I finally got it and I was like, Oh shit. Yeah, right, it's doy. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's it's an American thing. <laughs> what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Excuse me, why do you speak Spanish? Well, a lot of my friends speak Spanish, so I decided to teach myself. It's not hard. You don't look Mexican. I'm not. I'm black. <laughs> Wait, so you're black and you speak Spanish? And you're English There's some black Hispanics. Yes, black people can learn other languages. Well, I mean, like, I guess, but, like, it doesn't make sense that you speak Spanish if you're not Mexican. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Damn. All right, so I had an American girl message me on Instagram the other day expressing how she's keen for marriage and whatnot. I wasn't interested for multiple reasons, so I thought the easiest and nicest way to let her down would be to state the obvious fact that we're from different countries. So I told her, you're from America, I'm from Australia, it's probably not gonna work and she had the audacity the audacity to say it's okay i can sponsor you <laughs> <laughs> sponsor bitch what do they not teach americans that there's other countries in the world where people are living happily not all of us are tasting that american dream <laughs> our kangaroos in australia are more civilized than your people and our spiders are nicer than your people why would i want to move to america <laughs> sponsor <laughs> i think Part of that, that thinking that Americans think that everyone wants to move to the U.S. is because the news always covers, uh, like, like people from Central America. And I say Central America, I know it's part of North America. It's just easier to say Central America rather than just like, oh, the southern part of North America. You know, so technically I just say Central America like that. But a lot of times you hear about, oh, all these people from Honduras or all, people from... 
you know, Central America, their their move up to the U.S. So everyone just kind of thinks that, oh, everyone just wants to move to the U.S. You know, and so that's also why we think, oh, the U.S. is so much better than all these other countries because, oh, but it, you know, if it wasn't so great, then why would people want to move up here? You know, and, and that's why we tend to think our country is so great. That's what I think, at least, because a lot of times I see, like I said, oh, all these people want to move up to America. They always want to cover that. Oh, immigration, this and that. And I'm like, oh, OK. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I'm traveling in Australia. I'm in a hostel in Brisbane, and this is an American couple. I ask them where they're from. They tell me they're from Alabama. I'm like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I've never been to America. And they're like, oh, really? But America's so close to Jamaica. And I'm thinking, what? And I say, oh, well, I'm not from Jamaica. Oh, well, sure you are. You sound Jamaican to me. What? I say, well, I'm actually from Wales. And the girl looks at me, and she starts giving me a glare. I'm like, oh, God, what have I said? She's talking about, she's thinking it's an animal? Just the animal? And like, you can't say you're from a fake country. That is so offensive. <laughs> like, what? It's a real country. No, it's not. It's an animal. But no, it's a real country. What do, what do, you, who do you think Charles is? You know, Queen Elizabeth's son. Like, he's Prince of Wales. Oh, yeah, he's Prince of the Animals. Everybody knows that he owns all the whales in the world. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. What does a dumb oh thing that ever said to you? Uh, there was a Haitian kid in my class, and they said, Hey, Biko, you're from Kenya. They're from Haiti. So you're both from Africa, right? Someone said I don't count as African-American because my family is from Africa, and I was born in America. I've had someone legitimately tell me, if they didn't want what? to be slaves, why didn't they fight back? Uh, once people found out that the darker the color, the more heat it absorbs, it was pretty much over for me every summer because someone was going to call out, call out the fact that, oh, you're really dark, so you must be really hot right now. <laughs> uh, people ask me if I what speak the? African a lot. No matter what the athletic accolade I get, Someone is going to say it's because I'm black. No, seriously. They're just going to be like, oh, you're dark skin. Of course you're the fastest on the team. Okay. Stupidity is in no way a specifically American trait. But when Americans do it, damn, they do it well. I'm kind of curious. Yo, that, that's, that's a good, that's a good point. To you? I think what it is is we try and be the best at everything. Even when it comes to stupidity. And we don't even realize it. <laughs> They do it well. Oh, man. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? I once flew from London to Houston, and when I got to the border, the TSA agent took my British passport, my um, return ticket to London, and then proceeded to ask me, where did I learn how to speak English? <laughs> and when I kind of said England, she said, oh, you guys speak English out there too? I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest yeah, thing an American that's America has ever for said you. to you? I live in uh, in Arizona, and uh, I graduated high school here. But one of my one of my first uh, first days in high school, this this Where's girl he from? sat next to me in, in English class. She was like, "Oh, where are you from?" And then I tell her I'm from Denmark, and she's like, Ooh. "Oh, isn't that in Chicago?" <laughs> what? I'm curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Oh my god, I can make a lot of these because I studied in the US as a non-American for like a year So I've heard a lot of crazy shit, but here's one of them So I was with a group of Americans and we were discussing whether or not we had seen us Is she Canadian? Because she sounds awful American and a lot of the times Canadians Other than that little specific twang that you can kind of hear They sound basically American celebrity in public yet because we were in New York and sometimes in New York you can just see like Zendaya walking around the street and I had just gotten there so I had not seen a celebrity yet so I was telling them how in Prague you, that doesn't happen but then I oh, told them that I had seen okay. a famous Czech YouTuber walking around my neighborhood once and this girl this girl was like wait Czech YouTuber I don't get it and I was like what what do you not get and she was like does he make videos in Czech and I was like yeah and she was like how does he do that YouTube is in English and I was like no no it's what and she was like yeah like the videos on youtube are english because youtube is in english hello it's for english speakers and i was like fucking i had to explain to this girl that most of youtube is not in english and that like the whole world uses youtube in their own language 
Yeah. I'm still confused. I'm kind of curious. What is the Just because you specifically thing watch it in English doesn't mean it's all in English. I was a senior in high school. I was a teacher assistant for one of the U.S. history classes. And let me tell you some interesting things were said by those students. My favorite being this. We were discussing whether or not Puerto Rico should become an actual state and not just a territory of the United States. We're having a perfectly good conversation until this one girl raises her hand. Her question... Her question was, but if we make Puerto Rico a state, where would we put it? <laughs> a few moments go by and me and the teacher are looking each other in the eye and we're just like, oh my god. Just leave it where it's at. And then she kind of takes a moment and goes, oh. And we're like, thank god. Like, she, she figured it out. No. Her response was, we could just put it where Rhode Island is. No one cares about Rhode Island. What? I'm calling that's like if the argument was Hawaii. Like, we're going to just go over and pick it up and bring it over to make it close to California? Like, <laughs> that makes no sense. Like, you can just, like, it's like a puzzle. Gorsh. <laughs> I'm curious. What is the dumbest thing oh an American gosh, has ever said to you? Ridiculous. So I'm Mexican. And I was working in Tulum. One day I was talking with this girl. And she said to me, I really wanted to visit Mexico in Cinco de Mayo to see your Independence Day. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, Cinco de Mayo, your Independence Day? I don't oh, um, think... Actually, our Independence Day is on September 16. Don't lie to me, I know South American history and I know that Mexico Independence Day, it's on... That's just completely different. South America is not Mexico. That's, you know... Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Venezuela, like... Cinco de Mayo. Uh, well, actually, no, uh, Mexico's North America. And you, you can Google that, actually. It, you can see that Mexico's Independence Day is on September 16. Oh my God, you have Google? Uh, <laughs> yes, why? I mean, I'm really surprised that you can speak English and use Google. I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I first moved here, I was in sixth grade, and I was getting enrolled to this middle school, and I was meeting up with the assistant principal. And basically, uh, she asked me from, from where I was from, and I'm like, oh, I'm from Colombia, like I just moved here. Oh, nice. And then she's like, oh my god, really? So do y'all live in, in trees and eat alligators for breakfast? Wait, what? Last time I remember, I was living in a very nice house, eating pan de bono with some chocolisto. But that's that's fine. I'm kind of curious. What that's is not fine. What an American has ever said to you? So I was an exchange student in the U.S. and I would randomly get asked by questions. And then one time I said I was Asian because Philippines is in Southeast Asia. And then they literally said, Philippines is in Asia. I thought it was in Europe girl and i'm okay sorry i'm trying to think of what they might be thinking of what country might they be thinking of to think that philippines is in europe i i don't know i can't how how do you think that Do you have school? Do you have farm animals in the Philippines? Do you know what an iPhone is? Girl, would you think of a, some sort of a different planet? Like, this is why you need to go to school. God. What the? Okay, one thing I will say though, this looks like it's a completely different part anyway. One thing I will say is that I think our school system needs to be changed so that we could learn more worldwide stuff. Because I think even even with like world history, I think like I said in the past, it only really, for what I remember, it only really covers uh, like maybe the Cold War, American history, which I guess that considers that Civil War, like but like world history, like I said, World Wars and the French Revolution. That's all I can really remember from world history. And I thought I paid pretty good attention in in that class. Because we don't learn anything about Asia that I can remember. 
I mean, Japan only because of World War II, but like I said, I think our school system needs to be changed a little bit so that we can understand and learn more world history. And it's not just wars, because a lot of the times you literally just talk about World War II. I remember a lot more about learning about World War II than about World War I or about any of the other uh, revolutions rather than just the French Revolution. You know? Or, well, that's still American history. Never mind then. <laughs> but it's just like, we don't, like my mom has a hard time with the school system because, like I said, I've said it in the past, my mom's a teacher and they ha they give you, so this is the curriculum. This is what you have to teach. And my mom has to find ways to try and teach that, but also teach things that can relate to it, but that are not necessarily that. You know, so it's like she has to make sure that she can teach what's going to be in the SATs and in whatever testing that we have. But I think we need to change it so that we don't have to do worry about those tests. And we have to just make sure that our kids are actually educated on not just what's going on in the U.S., but what's going on in the world. And I think that's a big problem. And it, it also doesn't help, at least in, in, in my area, like with my mom, she keeps telling me that a lot of her kids are very low level. Like she teaches sixth grade, so that's like 13, 12, 13 year olds. And their reading is terrible. Their their math is terrible. And like she feels bad because they're doing the work and they're doing the grades, but she can't just fail a big portion of, or she can't just fail like <clears throat> this handful because they're doing the work, but their reading level is still terrible. You know? So it's just like, well, they're doing the work to pass, but I'm going to have to recommend them to get special help, to get to go get help with reading. And it's just a lot of times, because we're so far off in education and healthcare and a lot of things... Like, the parents are working two jobs. The parents are, are, are you know, not 100% paying attention to their kids. And and that's a big issue. And even when the parents do pay attention, kids are really good at lying. And the parents just tend to believe them. And it's just like, what is going on here? And it's not all kids. I'm just going to throw that out. It's not all of them, but it's, it's just a, a, a decent chunk. And I'm still confused. How do, how do you think Philippines is in... Europe. I'm still trying to figure out what country they're thinking of. I can't think. I, I, I highly doubt it's Poland. I'm trying to think of just a P country. But it's not Poland, obviously. But. Because even if you think it's like in India. Like where India is technically. That's still technically Asia. So I don't know. This whole. These things are making me confused. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe for more content just like this. If there's any other TikTok related uh, funny stuff, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. I will gladly check it out. <clears throat> but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is, uh, <laughs> this is definitely very interesting. But... Uh, like I said, even even with the uh, Hispanic one, there are definitely black Hispanics. Like, I have a cousin that's... He's not black, but he's very, very dark-skinned. Like, you could tell he's Hispanic and Mexican, but he's not black. But he's very dark-skinned. But it's like, how do, how do people not realize that there are black Hispanics or, or very dark-skinned Hispanics? Or, or whatever. It just does, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. Some of these, I'm just like, how do how is it that people are thinking this way? I, I, I have a hard time with it. But thanks for watching. Like I said, subscribe for more content just like this. Let me know in the comment section below what else I should react to. And uh, I have some football-related stuff, um, soccer, just so we can make sure we know what I'm talking about, not American football. But uh, I'd like to react to some of that stuff coming up as well. So... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.